Welcome back to Healthy Living. As promised, I'm here with Megan Broussard. She is our lung cancer screening coordinator for St. Tammany Health System. So Megan, welcome to our show again. Thank you. Thank you for coming again. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell our viewers a little bit about yourself for those who don't know. So I am the lung cancer screening coordinator for St. Tammany Health Systems. And um, basically I, that just means that I kind of guide our patients through the process of lung cancer screening. Um, when they meet with their doctors and talk about if they qualify for cancer screening, then they give them my number mm -hmm. and um, I reach out to them and, and just make sure, you know, they're comfortable with everything, they know what to expect. And then I also am the one that bugs them every year and tells them to come back and get screened. Again. Come back so, and get screened. That's yes. right. But it's so easy. They want to come back. It's it's getting over that first fear is always the issue. But then, yeah, and they're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Well, thanks for that. We we just talked with uh, Councilman Verrett, City Council President for the City of Covington, about our event that's coming up. But I want to I want to go bigger a little bit to start with. November is St. Tammany United and Lung Health the Power Pearl. Why do we do this month? Why Why did you want to do it? Because I know it was your passion project. Yes. Yeah, so um, November is traditionally Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Um, that's nationally recognized. And so the reason that we really wanted to put a light on it in our community is because Louisiana is behind on lung cancer screening. Um, the number of people that qualify for screening versus the number of people um, that actually get screened is very small and it's mm -hmm. even smaller in our state. So we really wanted to bring awareness. Lung cancer screening is only about 15 years old. You know, everyone knows about their mammograms and their colonoscopies, but not a lot of people know that you can get screened for lung cancer. So that's the important part about it this month is just letting people know, you know, getting the education out there of like who can be screened and um, and how important that early detection is. And then also, you know, we just want to celebrate the people that have gone through that journey and their caregivers because it, you know, it can be isolating and, um, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of stigma with lung cancer and we want to break that stigma. We want people to know, you know, they're not alone and, um, and just, you know, celebrate them yeah. for, for everything they've been through. So. Well, the, I, I love the purpose behind this month, and I'm glad that we're talking about it. Uh, much like you know, our Breast Cancer Awareness Month, it's very important to just kind of offer people the whole uh, the whole picture of what it means, you know. Right. So um, let's talk about what people can expect during this month because we have a couple of exciting things planned and there are ways that you can get involved and there are ways that you can contribute. And uh, when we talk about those contributions, if you want to just share with us where they'll go, but what can people expect? So um, we have a couple events throughout the month. Um, we just started today with our t-shirt sales. I know everyone's always excited about a t-shirt. So we have that going on. Um, on November 9th, we actually are participating in a national lung cancer screening day at the um, St. Timothy Health Systems Paul D. Cortez Outpatient Pavilion. We'll be offering lung cancer screenings okay. as well as free um, abdominal aorta ultrasound screenings. So um, it's a great, it's a Saturday, we'll be open just just for that. So it's a good opportunity and mm -hmm. to get more information. And then our big event is our second annual Power of Pearl Lung Cancer Walk, and that is November 16th at the Covington Trailhead. So that is gonna be a great and fun event. Let's talk a little bit about the screening day. Okay. Um, so when you talk about that, um, the second the added, aorta. say, what yes, is it? The abdominal aorta ultrasound. There we screen. go. So yeah. that is combined with whatever, you know, with the lung cancer, that's an extra kind of added value that goes with that day. Correct. Um, so how does someone know if they meet the criteria for screening? So um, the national recommended screening criteria is for ages 50 to 80. Um, if you are a current smoker or have quit within the last 15 years, and um, if you have like a certain um, smoking pack history, you, know, mm -hmm. you have to be kind of a significant smoker, not just a cigarette every now and then. Right. So, um, so that's what insurance covers. But um, the USPSTF and like the ACR um, recommend more than that. They recommend um, people that quit smoking 35 years ago. You know, they're seeing smoking. I mean, I'm sorry, they're seeing lung cancer in, um, in people who have never smoked, but maybe grew up in secondhand smoke homes. Um, our military, our veterans that were exposed to various things throughout their careers. Right. Um, you know, a lot of oil filled workers or other people that are exposed to asbestos, diesel fumes, you know, just all sorts of things out in the environment yeah. that um, we get exposed to. So this, this screening day is really an opportunity for those people who don't meet the insurance criteria 
to get, but meet other criteria that makes them at higher risk. Maybe yeah. they have a family history um, to get screened on that day. And we offer a special cash price. It's one nineteen okay. um, for that day, and then we're throwing in the free um, aorta screening, which. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just a great screening to have. It looks for any um, plaque in your abdominal aorta. That's the main aorta that um, brings blood uh, to your heart. Sorry, from yeah. your heart from to your heart. everywhere okay. else in your body. Yes, your so heart. it's very sorry. important. Um, so we want to make sure that that's good too. And um, so it's it's just, you know, it's just a good day to, to get all your checkups before you head into the holidays and, yeah. and then tell all your family members how easy it was and that they should get checkups. Yeah, too. and let's talk about how easy it is because it's so easy. I love when you how you describe it because and I'm gonna let you do it because oh, it, it's so everyone. easy. I'm like, there's no prep, no IV, you don't have to fast, you don't even have to change clothes. It is the easiest cancer screening you can do. It takes about two minutes, scan from your waist to your neck. And that's it. You're up and out of there. So, yeah. um, and the and the ladies at the outpatient pavilion are absolutely wonderful. Um, everyone loves talking to our CT techs and um, and getting taken care of by them. So it's yeah. it's a good experience all around. And if you do catch lung cancer early, statistically, your survival rate is unbelievably better when you catch it at stage one as opposed to stage four. So Correct. talk about that a little bit. So, um, you know, stage four and stage three diagnosis are usually when you're having symptoms. And um, and a lot of times, unfortunately, that, that does not have great outcomes. Stage one and stage two lung cancer, you don't have any symptoms. So you have no idea what's going on. The only way to find it is through these screenings. Right. And so, um, and so when they catch it that early, they can do surgery, they can, you know, treat it early, and it, it does greatly increase um, the chances of survival, I think, by like 60%. It yes. It's a, it's a really good positive number because lung it's cancer... Treatable. Yeah, lung cancer is the number one cancer killer. It is the deadliest cancer. It kills more people than colon, prostate, and breast cancer combined. Mm. So, um, and, and, you know, all of those cancers have screenings and they are you know more common to get those cancers but people aren't dying from those cancers this people are dying from lung cancer and so that's why this screening and having this opportunity is is just life changing because it's giving these people a chance at life so it's it's really good well when i said that this is your passion project that was not an understatement yeah you're very passionate about this <laughs> i'm sorry no that's good uh, and you know what uh, what really solidified the fact that you are so passionate about it is right before, which I'm going to tell people about this great announcement that just came out, but we asked you to give us some information about, you know, lung cancer screenings and why they're important to the community. And you really just poured your heart out into your answer. And you were talking about how, you know, it, it it's um, prolonging the lives of people who get to spend more time with their family, right? It, it really is. So my demographic, again, is that 50 to 77. I mean, these are these are people that are in the, the prime of their life. I mean, they're, they're starting to retire. They're having grandchildren, you know, and they're just really loving and enjoying life right now. And so a lot of them quit smoking um, because they, they want to do that for their grandchildren and right. um, they want to be around longer. And so this is just an extra step, you know, for... Um, them to get screened so that they can have more of those holidays. I love calling my patients. I love talking to them. They tell me how big their grandkids are getting. A lot of them stay <laughs> home and watch them, you know, and, um, you know, because they're retired. And uh, it's just, it, it, my patients are just so special to me. It's just a totally different group than you're used to dealing with. And um, and I, I just absolutely adore them. I, I really find a lot of joy in talking to them and, and getting them set up with this or anything else they need. Yeah. You know, sometimes well, we're on the phone for a little too long, but uh, <laughs> I love every minute of it. Good. And it shows. So I want to do, I do want to share, share some news that we learned in early September. We recently learned that the Rich Marty Cancer Fund, they committed one half million dollars to equip our um, lung bus. It's the Gulf Coast region's first mobile lung screening vehicle. If you're familiar with our Be Well bus, where we do mammograms and other exams, uh, the lung bus will be the second vehicle that we own at St. Tammany Health System. And it's the first one in the Gulf Coast region. Um, and it'll be coming in early 2025, so stay tuned for that. But I wanna ask you, what does that mean for our community? It's, um, it's an incredible gift for our community. I am I'm just blown away by the generosity of the, of the Mahdi family. Um, the fact that we can bring this to, you know, out into the community and, and, you know, bring this service to the patients is, is 
just going to be life changing for them. I mean, it is a big deal for them. You know, a lot of them live out in the country and, you know, uh, or don't particularly like driving, especially when right. we deal with Covington traffic. You know, <laughs> we hear that all the time. Mandeville people don't like going to Covington. I know that. <laughs> um, so to be able to bring that bus to various locations and offer it right there, especially because it only takes a couple minutes, mm -hmm. I really think it's going to be um, life changing for, for our community. I think so many more people are going to take that opportunity to, to get screened. It's going to kind of, you know, eliminate those excuses. Well, you know, I don't have time to do this or whatever because yeah. it's it's right there. It's too easy not right. to do it. So um, so I'm super excited about this. It's, it's going to mean a lot to my patients and I'm very excited. We are too. We're looking forward to it. So let's reiterate what we got coming up. So we have the lung cancer screening, National Lung Cancer Screening Day. That's November 9th, Saturday, correct? Correct. So tell people the phone number to call to get with you about that. So if you would like to um, participate in that, you call me 985-871-5864 or 871-LUNG. Um, and I will get you set up with that. That is on Saturday, November 9th from 7 a.m. to 12. Mm -hmm. And then um, the lung cancer walk will be on Saturday, November 16th from 10 to 2. Um, that we, you can visit the website. It has a registration link for, it is a free event. We just wanna know who to give the beer to. Um, <laughs> so, okay, we wanna know who's coming. We've got food trucks, we've got um, children's activities. We have our resource village. We're gonna have carotid ultrasound screenings. Um, you know, all sorts of things. And it, I mean, last year was an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm praying that we have the same weather. Right. And um, people can just come together as a community and hang out and, and just and just be with each other and show show the lung cancer community that they have support and that they're they're not alone. That's right. And I want to add that at that event you might um, be able to if you have time to stop by and get a lung cancer screening assessment. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. So we will do assessments to see if you will qualify, and then we can get you scheduled um, to get your screening. To get your screening. Yes. Okay. And that's a recommended screening once a year. Correct. Correct. So um, just like a mammogram, mm -hmm. it's um, preventative care. Um, you, we want you to have it done every year. Most lung cancers, early lung cancers, are found on those annuals, not on the first one, because mm -hmm. they want to look for any nodules in your lungs and then look for any changes in those nodules. Gotcha. Similar to mammograms, most breast cancers are not found on the first one. They're found on those like yearly ones, and that's when we find those early stages that are so important. Okay. Um, so yeah. And you've had some early catches recently. Yeah. In the past few years. Great. Yes. Um, I think last year we ended up with like 15 stage one, which is just it's really changing the whole you know like dynamic of lung cancer because before it was only those stage three and fours that we were catching and the the stage one was so little and now our percentages of stage one are so much higher than what we're getting um, with the stage fours so it's it's amazing it's doing really great things that's fantastic is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up um i don't think so i really appreciate you having me i'm so excited again my phone number is 985-871-5864 if you are interested in lung cancer screening, interested in the day, interested in the, the campaign, give me a call. I, again, obviously I love to talk and <laughs> I'm happy to, to give you all the information. If you have a loved one that you want to get screened, I have a lot of people call me and say, my husband needs to get screened or my right, mom needs right. to get screened. And that's fine, like call me, I will talk to their doctor, get the order, talk to them about it, yeah. give them all the information and um, and hopefully get them, get them taken care of. It's a team effort. It is. Absolutely. So um, thank you, Megan, for being here. Thank we appreciate you. you. Everything we talked about is at stamineunited.org. And you just click on the Power of Pearl icon, our logo, and it will take you to all this information. You can learn how to purchase a T-shirt if you'd like to. Real quick, where does the funding go for the T-shirts? So the funding goes towards um, our education. So just getting... Um, of lung cancer awareness. Of lung cancer awareness. So okay. getting it out there. We're working on you know getting free lung cancer screenings. We're, that's something that we're doing with this bus and funding the bus yeah. and that stuff. So, so all of that is in the work. So all this money is, is, is going back towards the lung cancer community. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us on Healthy Living. We hope to see you on November 16th at our walk. And until next time, we will see you later. Thanks for watching.